Welcome to Professionalism and Customer Service in the Healthcare Environment. In this unit, we'll explore professional behavior in the healthcare environment. The objectives for this unit are to define contextual norms expected in healthcare organizations and discuss the importance of professional behavior, appearance, and demeanor. We'll explore how these topics contribute to professional behavior. Contextual norms are the acceptable behaviors and attitudes of the professionals who work in a particular environment. Often, these behaviors are supportive of safe work practices and contribute to effective teamwork as well. An example of a contextual norm in the healthcare environment is frequent hand washing. Frequent hand washing has been shown to be the most effective method of preventing infections. It contributes to patient safety and also helps keep healthcare professionals from acquiring infections. In most settings, the employees do not wash their hands as often as they do in a healthcare environment. As a new healthcare information technology professional, you will need to understand the contextual norms in the healthcare environment. The importance of understanding the 24 hours a day, 7 days a week nature of clinical staff availability is a contextual norm in healthcare. Clinical staff may work hours that don't match HIT staff work hours, and this presents a challenge for IT projects. This should be addressed at the start of a project so that the inclusion of valuable clinical staff input is planned and coordinated. Also, be sure to consider optimal timing for communication with these individuals. For example, scheduling mid-morning meetings for staff that work night shift may not be conducive to their involvement. Understanding contextual norms will help you be successful in your professional role and will enable you to be seen as an effective team member by your colleagues. It's important to recognize that contextual norms can vary by professional role. For example, nurses may prefer communicating face-to-face -face as they carry out their patient care responsibilities. Information technology professionals, on the other hand, may prefer email communications that are less intrusive. Nurses usually have a more immediate need to get information that will enable them to help their patients. IT professionals do not typically have urgent communication needs. Different organizations and settings will have different norms. Large organizations with many professional roles will often be more complex and hierarchical in their accepted behaviors and attitudes, and norms will be more clearly defined by role. In contrast, smaller clinics and offices will typically be less formal and rigid. People may have responsibility for multiple roles and develop their own norms as a result. At governmental agencies, public health settings may reflect behaviors and attitudes that are defined by governmental regulations. Recall that contextual norms are the acceptable behaviors and attitudes of the professionals who work in a particular environment. Displaying inappropriate behavior or attitudes can have the effect of distracting people from what you may be communicating or trying to accomplish, making you less effective and productive. You want people to be able to focus on what you are there to do. Standing out because you are doing great work is your goal. The behavior of a professional in a particular environment is called deportment or professionalism. According to Merriam-Webster, professionalism is defined as the, quote, conduct, aims, or qualities that characterize a professional person, end quote. It includes how you speak, how you appear, as well as how others judge your honesty and integrity. How do others see you conducting yourself as you work? The use of professional language is a key element to professionalism. Speech should be clearly spoken in an even tone and delivered with clear pronunciation of all words. It does not include the use of slang, swearing, or colorful phrases. Keep in mind that others in your workplace may not enjoy loud jokes or understand your particular slang terms. Take time to think before you speak. Don't use words or terms that might offend or confuse those around you. Speaking in an understandable and polite manner is important to getting your message understood. Behaving in a professional manner also includes being reliable and responsible, doing what you say you will do, and doing it well. A willingness to always improve and grow as a professional is another key element of professionalism. Adapting to new situations as required will mark you as a valuable professional. Showing respect for yourself and others is also an important part of professional deportment and contributes to a healthy workplace. 
So let's consider the importance of professionalism and what it communicates to those around you. Professional demeanor communicates to others in your workplace that you respect yourself as a professional in the organization. It also indicates that you recognize the importance of your own work. It communicates that you respect the role and work of the other members of the healthcare team as well. By behaving in an appropriate and professional manner, you will encourage others to behave respectfully towards you, which in turn will contribute to a healthy and effective workplace. Unprofessional behavior creates a barrier to effective teamwork and communicates to others that you do not understand or support the work they do. Negative behaviors can also create a feeling of mistrust around your work and your interactions in patient care areas. The reputation of your organization can also be brought into question when inappropriate demeanor is seen by patients, family members, and the general public. In addition to demeanor, your appearance contributes to how people perceive you as a professional. Many organizations have official guidelines on what constitutes appropriate dress and appearance. It's important to understand what's acceptable and what's not, both in terms of guidelines and unwritten norms. Your appearance should be clean, neat, and relatively conservative in style. Many organizations have adopted a business casual norm for dress. Your appearance shouldn't detract from your professionalism in any way. Let's talk for a moment about where IT professionals fit in the healthcare environment. As an IT professional, you'll work with the computers and software that make up these information technology systems. But don't forget that another important part of an IT system is the people who use them. Your skills as a professional include working effectively with people, not just with the computer hardware and software. In addition to supporting the work of the healthcare professionals, IT staff members are responsible for all phases of the information technology system lifecycle. These systems are essential for patient care and safety. IT professionals also play an important role in supporting those who are responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the organization or clinic. Without reliable information technology systems, administrators could not do their jobs, finance departments could not manage budgets, and executives could not successfully guide their staff. This concludes the professional behavior in the healthcare environment. In summary, understanding contextual norms is the basis for professional demeanor and contributes to your success as an IT professional in the healthcare environment. Fitting in with how people work and interact in the professional environment will help you be seen as an effective and efficient member of the healthcare team. Professional behavior, appearance, and demeanor are also important components of being a professional in the healthcare environment. These key elements of professionalism communicate to others that you respect yourself, them, and the organization. They also contribute to your being treated with respect by your coworkers. Fitting in as a member of the healthcare team also means understanding the important ways you contribute to the team as an IT professional in your work with the information technology system and the people who use them.